Hi guys, welcome to the uh, to the channel. I thought I would record this episode, or this video, and uh, podcast episode straight after the game because um, it's it's easier for me to do it when I'm fresh in my mind, what's going on, and things like this. Now, of course, as you can see by the screen, I have revealed the score as I haven't done in the past, but you know, these are the things that happen, and so. If you want to see what happened in the game and how things progressed, please do go and do that and then come back and listen to what I have to say about the game. In terms of the lineup, we had, well, we had, shall we say we had quite a, a story leading up to this game because um, there were lots of games, lots of Premier League games that were call, called off, postponed because of COVID because of rising COVID cases within the teams. Lots of matches across the country have been called off, and this game was at one point going to be called off, or at least that was the suggestion. And then it wasn't until later on this morning, near, near enough afternoon before they actually announced, officially announced that it was going ahead. So a lot of people, I think a lot of people weren't sure about whether to go up to take the trip up to, to Tottenham or not. And um, and that was a bit difficult. You know, that's that's I think bad organisation by the Premier League. They need to get this better organised. This isn't something that's going to go away. This is going to carry on happening for a while, I think. And they need to get better communication. They need to make these decisions earlier. I think it's it's, it's just going to be a nightmare for travelling fans. Otherwise, if you have to think about whether you're going to travel up or not. And uh, I think there were some uh, Tottenham fans that didn't go because the, the stadium wasn't full anyway. So. You know, I think that needs to be sorted out. But the game went ahead, and uh, our team lineup. Even though we had a few players out um, after testing positive, Vieira himself was also tested positive, so he wasn't at the game. But at the back, we had Butland uh, in goal. Then we had Ward, Anderson, Tompkins, Mitchell. Then we had Gallagher, Hughes, and Cuyuta in the middle. Au, Edward, and Zaha up front. And on the bench, we had Gehi, Mateta, Schlup, Matthews. Kelly Ferguson and Reedwald Nathan Ferguson on the bench, and um, and that's kind of the first half start didn't start off too badly at all. You know we had some good um, we had some good possession early on. We were working hard. We were creating things in the first 10, 15 minutes, and I thought that we worked really hard. We were putting passes together and doing well, but then um, about twenty minutes. 20 or so minutes after the first half started, Palace took their eye off the ball, literally. And we just seemed to lose our focus. And Tottenham started to then take more control of the game. And at that point, I thought it was just going to be one of those blips and that we were going to come back into it, you know, as you know, teams sometimes exchange possession. But Tottenham actually really pushed on once they got into their rhythm and got into their flow. And it started to become very difficult for us to get hold of the ball and to create things that we have done in the past. And it was it was at it was at that point, uh, around thirty minutes, that Harry Kane got his first goal. It was um, it was sent into the box, and uh, he managed to get his managed to get himself on the end of it, and it went down one nil. And it was it was. I think it was against kind of against one play. I mean, we'd had a good first half, first first half, but um, you know, Tottenham came back into it really strongly and started to make their impression. And then they scored a goal, Harry Kane. That was a bit of a blow. But I thought at that point that we could do something about it. I thought that we could turn it around. It was around that time that Zaha got his first booking, and it was for descent. I think I was talking to the referee. And I'm going to make a separate video about Wilfred Zaha, which um, I want you to take a check out after I've done this one. But um, anyway, he got his first yellow card. And then, literally a couple of minutes after Kane scored, Lucas Moura got the second goal. And um, that was, a, that was again, a big shock from us. I think we hadn't reset ourselves. We, weren't, we hadn't reset properly. We were still a bit in shell shock from the first goal. And they got the second goal very quickly. And at that point, I think myself and a lot of Palace fans, I think we were just gobsmacked at the way that, that just in that 10 minutes or less than that, less than that, you know, 10 minutes of spell for Tottenham, they'd managed to bag two goals. And 
it was just after that that Zaha got his second yellow card. And it was for, again, being an idiot, basically. That's what he got it for. And he got himself sent off. And at that point, having just conceded two goals and then to lose Wilfred Zaha, me, along with a lot of fans, thought at that point, well, this is, we're not going to get anything from this game because we've lost one of our best players and we're 2 0 down. That was, that was a difficult thing. And I said, I'm going to make a video about uh, my thoughts on Zaha and, and things like that in the future. But um, as for the moment, he so he got sent off and he we then had to carry on with uh, with 10 men and from that point on for the first half they were you know Tottenham were kind of dictating the play they were able to pass the ball through our midfield through the defense quite easily I think at times you know we were putting up resistance we were looked like we were trying to work hard and we did occasionally try to get um, our foot on the ball and make something happen but it just wasn't it wasn't working we didn't have enough um, impetus uh, didn't have enough people going forward because obviously we were we, we were on the back foot, and it ended the first half two 0 And then in the second half, we had um, it kind of stayed pretty much uh, the same way. Um, Mateta came on for um, Edward, and really didn't have much of an impact on the game it was a very difficult thing for him because you know we had no Zaha it was him and Ayu up front Ayu was obviously having to come back and work hard in defense so Mateta didn't really have much time on the ball didn't have much of the ball at all so I don't think it was his fault that he really wasn't that involved in the game at all uh, after he came on and and that was basically in the second half it was a bit like the second half of the first half if you know what I'm saying they had possession they were passing the ball quite well through our midfield through our defense a couple of times they almost scored and you know we had opportunities we did try to pass the ball forward we did try to create our own chances and, and we did a couple of those but it really didn't work out and Tottenham were getting more and more relaxed and more at ease with what was going on Harry Kane went off I think that's how good they felt about things you know and it was just like we were we were on the back foot you know we were we were struggling at that point and we couldn't really keep them under wraps and that was the big issue for me you know at, 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 even though and i'm going to say this even though you know roy hodgson didn't play very good football there were times when we could really defend and we could defend in numbers and we could defend with everything we had and we just didn't do that today too many times they got past us too many times they got past our back four overlapped you know they were passed we, they passed into space went past us you know it was too many times it happened in this game and it's happened in a couple of last couple of games that they, they you know the defense hasn't quite been where it should be and um and that's how it carried on the first half most of the possession by tottenham hotspur the occasional spell by us but um that's kind of how it carried on and then towards the end of the game 74 minutes son got the third and uh, soon afterwards he was taken off as well he was substituted and at that point you just think to yourself this is not our game this is one of those games that we probably should have stayed in bed for really um i mean there was a there was one bright spark which is when nathan ferguson came onto the pitch the first time he's come on for crystal palace since he arrived as a senior player and it was great to see him come on and have a run around it wasn't really much that he could do, but it was great to see him on the pitch and great to see him in the next stage of his recovery moving forward and uh, and being part of the first team. Absolutely fantastic to see him. So well done to that. Apart from that, it was one of those games you really just want to forget. And if you've got another game in a couple of days, mm -hmm. we really just need to make sure that we are set up for that and that we work hard on what went wrong today and then try not to let it happen again. And, uh, and as I say, the next... Um, the next video I'm going to be doing is about Zaha and my thoughts on his um, sending off and things like that. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can catch that when it comes through. And and that's pretty much it. It was a disappointing game today, but hopefully we can uh, bounce back 
against Norwich on Wednesday. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you are having a good Christmas. And until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.